Well, we're now going to cross to our SABC News contributing editor, Vuyom Voko, who's at the 25th ANC Youth League Congress held in Madrid, the Gallagher Estate to be more specific. Now, we are welcome back once again. Now, the Congress was supposed to have started at 8.30 this morning. Has it started yet? Well, uh, it still hasn't started yet, uh, Dumi. However, Galaga Estate has now come to life. Several delegations um, arrived over the past have arrived over the past hour or so, and it looks like things may start pretty soon. But there's still uh, empty chairs. If you look at Gauteng, for example, the Gauteng, the entire Gauteng delegation is not here yet. Not surprising, given that uh, um, they bent the midnight oil trying to have a provincial general council so that they could be ready to be here. So maybe uh, they had to go home and refresh uh, and they will be here soon. But as things stand, it does look like um, they are pretty much uh, on course. Maybe another hour, probably two at the most, but it does look a lot more positive than was the case uh, two hours ago or so to me. Now, Vuyo, besides the Houghton delegation not being there yet, has there been any other reported delay as to why the Congress hadn't started? No, there have been any reasons given as to why. I think it's just uh, uh, people being tardy, um, you know, not sticking to time. Uh, a lot of these uh, delegations, remember, uh, traveled uh, overnight or uh, left their respective provinces much later than they were supposed to. So I think it's just tardiness, uh, uh, nothing really more uh, than that to me. And what is the mood like there, um, Vuyo? I can literally hear the chanting behind you. Have you spoken to any other delegates present at Galaga Estate at the moment? Well, it does look positive. I mean, uh, the delegations you're seeing behind me arrived singing their own songs, uh, carrying some of their uh, nominees shoulder high. So it's, it's the typical mood of a conference and a conference of young people at that. There's a lot, of course, on their plates. Among the things that uh, they are expected to do, they're expected uh, first and foremost to adopt a program for this Congress. And if I may just take you through what uh, they will be discussing today specifically. It will be the adoption of the program as well as the rules and of course the Electoral Commission where after uh, the ANC's Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa will address them. Uh, thereafter there will be a political overview and that overview will be uh, delivered by the NTT's uh, uh, convener Fiki Lembalula. He will be speaking specifically to politics in relation to the Youth League, uh, the, prop, the challenges, problems um, that it has had, and uh, from the national task team, uh, from where the task team sits, what they think or what they believe are the sort of things that uh, this gathering should be focusing on. Thereafter, there will also be a session where uh, Natim Tetua, who is also a member of the task team, will deliver a financial uh, report. Now, it's going to be interesting because you will recall that uh, years ago, the Youth League was declared bankrupt. Uh, money was misused uh, and so on. So it would be interesting uh, to see if they are now, uh, their balance sheet is on the positive side. And uh, if so, where they would have gotten um, the money. Thereafter, there will be a, a constitutional amendments. And thereafter, like in the evening, uh, they will, the Electoral Commission will then take everyone through the electoral process, how it's all going to work, the rules and regulations and so on. So that, in a nutshell, is what is going to happen between now and uh, probably midnight or beyond even. All right, Vuyom Vogel, thank you so much for that update. We are our SABC News contributing editor who's live at the Gallagher Estate, of course, in Midrand for the 25th session of the ANC Youth League Congress. Now, just to give you an update of what he mentioned there, of course, we're expecting national task team members, uh, Ministers Natim Tetwa, as well as Minister Figile Mbalula to give an address there. Um, just from what Vuyo has reiterated, Figile, of course, will be speaking on the politics and challenges, um, of course, that's around the ANC Youth League. 
League and the challenges that they had to succumb, of course, leading up to this Congress. And uh, Minister Mted Toa will give a financial report as to the challenges they face there and what needs to happen moving forward. But another important or rather significant address that we can expect, of course, from the Congress is one coming from the Deputy President of the country. Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to give an address. And of course, the Electoral Commission is expected to give its amendments and to start the electoral process, of course, moving forward as different delegations coming from different provinces had thus nominated the potential ANC Youth League leader. Well, that seems to be the program for the day. This is the 25th Congress, expected, of course, to presume until Sunday this weekend. But we'll keep crossing back to William Walker for the latest in Midrand.